Welcome to Good Mythical More. You want to know what kind of little Debbie snacks we each are, and you can find out what you are too, I think, because uh, a survey was created. It's Good Mythical More, y'all. First, <laughs> let's play What's the Word, where we guess the definition of a word, and that word is argy bargy. I've heard of Argy this. bargy. I've heard of this. Ar argy bargy? Argy bargy. Is it argy it's bargy hyphenated. or argy bargy? I, I would say argy bargy. I you've heard of it? Yes. Argy bargy. It's like Argy a it, it, it's like a it's like a Scottish slang or something like that. Um maybe Irish slang. I think it's like um argy bargy. It's when you're it's when you're driving on a road that's real bumpy. Argy bargy. Yeah. Uh that road's argy bargy. You better take the other one. <laughs> Uh, it, that was great and very convincing, but I don't think you're right. But man, I think it's like argy -bargy. I think it's when you when you throw a fit. I, I think it's a little scuff, a little a little. Uh, what do you call it? A scuff up? When, when it, a fight? When people get into a, little, a dust up? It's just a little dust up. A little dust up. A little dust up. It's a fight you didn't expect to get into today. But you but you but you made your way out of. Both parties did. I got myself in a little argy bargy. Like argy is short for argument? Yes. In a bar? Like yes, in the, I had an yeah. argy in a bar. bar All right, what, what is, is it? it? Oh! Discussion or dispute? Hey, hey, you, hey, you, ho, hey! I mean, it's an it's argument. Close. That, it's a fight that you come out unscathed. I don't think we've ever been this close before. Argy bargy. But I mean, we to be fair, Rhett close. said I've heard of this before. Right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It was also pretty good. Yeah. So I, I went to Urban Dictionary. <laughs> I didn't know what you, I didn't, I'd never heard of unicorn before. Me neither. I don't think that's, I mean, it, it's a thing on Urban Dictionary, but is it what, really a it. thing? A read common it. swinging term used in the community to refer to a single female interested in meeting other couples described as such due to the rarity of finding said females, by no means derogatory, but quite the opposite, a rare treat. This is so well a written for treat. an Urban oh, Dictionary definition. Why's it gotta be a woman though? Well, because because uh, that's what the slang term the is. Because if you if you're like if you put out a call for dudes who would like to get in on that, you're gonna have there's gonna be a line at the door. Okay, yeah. I'm just telling you yeah, right that's, now. Is it, <laughs> for a dude, it's called it's not called a unicorn. Yeah, it's called like what's the most common animal? <laughs> Wait, then under the definition, it says in quotes, "We are interested in meeting other couples and single females," and then it, that that is said by the usual swinger couples' interest, and then it says. We've met one or two unicorns in our time. This is by G and T Swing. Do we give credit for these? I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Just do you, do you want to look it up, I guess. This? Do you know, do you know there are some, there's a couple of different signs that somebody is a swinger, right? Uh, one is two Adirondack chairs in your front lawn. <laughs> And if they are uh, if they are two red Adirondack chairs, it was not a mistake. What do you mean if they're red? If they're red, then what? It they, was not a mistake. You know, you could be like, oh, grandma and grandpa accidentally bought two Adirondack chairs and put them on the lawn. But like, if they're red, why is there a line at our front door? They are swingers, and I found two red Adirondack chairs on a walk. Oh my it's God, I found a New York lawn. Post article that says, um, on a walk. Oh, I'm gonna, signs? Oh, oh, let me give you the other signs. Your neighbor might be a swinger. Pineapples on your shirt. Okay? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Okay. And a pineapple in your shopping cart at the grocery store. No! Oh, so you can't eat pineapples? No! If, if you, no, no. If you take a pineapple and you put it right there in the front on display and you like, Take a couple of laps around the produce section. You're asking for it. I'm telling you right now. It's a sign. Especially with a couple of red Adirondack chairs. <laughs> oh! This says, um, wear a black ring on your right hand. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Are you joking? I'm being serious. Oh, shoot, man. I did, I, I'm not wearing my ring right now. People... Are you being serious or you're being I'm being serious. It says, it says that swinger, wear a black ring on your right hand if you're out and open to meet other swingers. <gasps> you didn't know you were doing it. My ring is silver. His is black. 
Other secret swinger symbols include a woman wearing an anklet, <laughs> toe rings, thumb rings, and switching your wedding, wedding ring to the right hand. Uh, like when people are they looking? They also cite white, white landscaping rocks <laughs> and pink or purple decorations in the front garden. What about red Adirondack chair? I'm looking for it. Two of them. Uh, okay, uh, pineapples. The website identifies pineapples as another swinger sing signal in the form of a door knocker, especially. Um, oh, and garden gnomes is also a thing. Swingers can't have garden gnomes. That's just, everybody needs a garden gnome. And why am I saying gnome? Gnome. <laughs> Uh, and anyway. then so what's there's the, like a wristband. What is the survey we're doing? What kind of swinger are we? Yeah. <laughs> Huh. So yeah, you, know, you learn something unicorn, new every day. Unicorn is is like tangential to swinger though. It, I'm confused. The 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 bellhop man said you're a unicorn? No. I, so what, what happened? Jesse and I were checking into our hotel to to uh hang out with Lincoln Christie and some friends for Lincoln Christie's sort of birthday celebration. Yeah. The friend that we were bringing along with us is currently staying at our house, not in like a thruple situation, just a, a, a friend who's in town from out of town, who was also going. And so we all three went together, but we were dropping our stuff off at our room before we met everybody else at the pool. And so he's like taking us out to our room and like all three of us are walking together and I'm like, this is LA, this guy's checking people into a hotel on the west side, he probably sees three people checking in to one bedroom with one bed all the time, like doesn't bat an eye, right? And then I was kind of like, I kind of like, am I gonna make a joke right now to try to clarify that we're a couple and he's a friend? Or am I gonna just let this guy believe that he's oh, a unicorn? Oh, it was a dude that you were with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but you were checking into two different hotel rooms. No, because he wasn't staying. He was just coming to the uh, pool part. Oh. <laughs> Okay. And then going back home. So yeah, like so you're bringing up all the luggage, and and I checked in earlier, and the bellhop, not only he brought the luggage all the way in, and then put it in stuff, and we had stuff draped over our luggage, and like he hung it up in the thing. It was a nice hotel, so like I mean they basically help you unpack and show you everything in the room. So it's like, you know, you were on. He was like bringing your luggage in, and so it was implied one bed, three people, corporate luggage. Corporate luggage. The writing's on the wall. And he didn't do any of that stuff for us. I think he was like, I'm gonna leave these people to themselves. Oh, and he didn't hang anything up in your closet? No, no, no. Yeah. Wait, so what happened? So you said you made a joke? I didn't. N no, they, I they let had, him. I let him believe that we were a thruple. I'm, I'm no, asking no, where the unicorn people, came, came into three play. three people sets. Oh, That's then, what they we did. Got, then we went back. The three and we, of them. We joined everybody at the pool. And hey guys, I, that's what happened when they showed, hey, hey, and, you're here. And then I said, and then I told this story. I was like, pretty sure the bellboy thinks that we're a thruple. And then somebody was like, yeah, so and so is a uni your unicorn. I don't know who said it. And I was like, I never heard that before. They're I like, think he said it. I think he said, oh, he said they thought I'm, I was, I'm your unicorn. I thought I was you, they thought I was your unicorn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I was like, well, oh. you got to go back and tell him that he can't be a unicorn. Yep. Right. And now for what everyone's waiting for, what little Debbie snack are you? A good old wholesome quiz. I believe, Link, you called it a survey, which is a very 44-year-old man thing to say. Is it a survey? I'm going to fill out this survey to see what kind of a little Debbie I am. <laughs> so the Mythical Crew made I'm up the unicorn. survey. We're going to put the link in the description so everybody at home can, can uh, play along with they us. They may not be at home. Yeah, they may be on a run. That's true. You know, you 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 could be out and about. Sorry right for assuming. Some people will go on a run and they have a their phone on this harness that's straight in front of their face. And sometimes yeah. they do it for a change of scenery to make it. If you get your phone close enough to your eyeballs, it can become like a virtual reality. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> like a like a what like a Peloton. Is your favorite kind of cake chocolate, vanilla, marble? I do not like cake. I do not like cake. I'm gonna answer this honestly and not with little Debbie chocolate in mind and say chocolate. Okay. If you ran a snack company, what would your company specialize in? Specialize in licorice, cookies, ice cream. To be honest, I'm a savory soul, so I'd prefer something like beef jerky. Oh, uh, wow, I'm equally on team licorice and team to be honest, I'm a savory soul. 
Uh, and I'm a, I'm, I'm a toss up between cookie and cr ice cream, but I'm gonna go with. Oh, you'd be ice cream. Man. Ice cream. Uh, I'm gonna go with licorice because it's, you know, I think there might be a, some, some white space in that market. Thank you for taking this seriously. If you could name your own snack company, beginning with the word little, what would you name it? <coughs> little snacks to help you relax. I love rhyming. It shows I have intelligence. <laughs> little emo spooky snacks. I'm an outcast through and through. Little wiener boy. No reason. No reason at all. Wow. Little hangries. I like to be different, hence the little. I will go with little wiener boy because I like to surprise people. Uh, I think little hangry is very on brand for me. I'll go with that. If you were... If you were up to some youthful mischief, mm -hmm, what would you be up to? Mm. Ding dong ditching? Flaming bag of poop on the doorstep? TPing houses? I resent this question. I have never <laughs> thought about nor ever gotten into any mischief. I'm a little BB angel muffin. Well, I was a ding dong ditcher for sure. Never, we never lit a bag of poop. Never lit a bag of poop, but we did put. You know the poop story. We don't have to go into. We did some. T we did some poop related did we ever things. Poop a house? adjacent. I don't think we I ever like TP'd a house. We egged a couple of houses. We egged houses. Got to go with ding dong. Yeah, ditcher. I'm a ding dong ditcher as well. Little wiener doing a ding dong. <gasps> Does pineapple belong on a pizza? If you're a swinger, yes. <laughs> Obviously, absolutely not. I refuse to comment on this question because I have other things to worry about. There's someone real angry taking this. No, I like that one. I'm not angry. I just I don't like to I don't like to burden myself with things that don't it I just should it just shouldn't impact me. The I think the question beneath the question is, okay, pineapple is it totally acceptable on pizza, but just pineapple like have to be belong. When it you say belong. obviously, it's like you're saying does it belong? It's gotta be on there it's every gotta time? It's gotta be on there every time. No, 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 it doesn't need to be on there every time. So I also refuse to comment on this question. Oh. Yeah, and also the other choices are very much on, on either end of the spectrum, because it's obviously, or absolutely not. Occasionally. There's no gray area there. Don't put yeah. baby in a corner. Yeah, I get it. What's still, your ideal great. vacation vibe? Mm. Staycation, I'm an indoor cat. Somewhere where I can constantly be outside in nature and doing a million things, I'm going to sit my tush on a beach and quite literally nothing can move me. Anywhere, really. I don't like plans, so I'll probably randomly pick somewhere and explore. Okay, again, I still feel like I'm being put into a box, Stevie, because my ideal hey. vacation is a day of rest Tommy. and a day of play. A day of rest and a day, day of play. play. You have to have a day of rest between each yeah. day, right? You do an activity, yeah, yeah. an excursion, and then you do pool day. Uh -huh. Then you do it, then the next day you do that. So I'm stuck between B and C here. I, I'm gonna say, put my butt on the beach. I think if I had to choose, I would put my butt on the beach. Yeah, I fall into this trap where I over plan a vacation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. then I get back and I'm tired from the vacation that I had. Yeah. yeah, we I for the for the Hawaii trip, I planned day on day off, day on day off. And so it ends on a day off. I don't know. That's very important. It should end I think on a, that, yeah, it has yeah, to I end think on a day off. You need to look into that. Last day got to be a day off. Yeah. And then when I come back, I can't just go back to work. I got to be at home for a couple more days. Okay. How confident are you that you'd survive a horror movie? Zero percent confident. I know my strengths, but survival is not one of them. I'm definitely the ding dong holding under the bed, hiding under the bed as if it's not the first place any bad guy would look. 50% sure. My motto in life is to live like a possum. I will play dead until ultimately the killer calls me on my bluff. I just don't see that strategy working out forever. Huh, yeah. 75% sure. I think I could stick it out into the final act, but I've always emitted third place energy, so RIP me, probably. Oh, I have one, a, lot, a big number, percent confidence. <laughs> I'm getting out of there. I'm the final girl. I will survive this movie and all of the sequels. Which one's topless? Because that's me. <laughs> well, that means you're definitely getting killed. So zero confidence. 
That's me. If you show your boobs, you're off the neck. Either usually like within five minutes, and in, in, in a classic horror formula. Uh, I'm I'm 100 confident I'm coming back. I'm making it to the end. I'm coming back for the sequels. And finally, what thrills you the most? That first sip of iced coffee in the morning. Ooh, finding, iced coffee. Finding a dollar in pockets and items of clothes you didn't know you had. I think you knew you had the items of clothing, but not the dollars right. in your pocket. Because that would be awesome if you didn't know you had it yeah. and there was money in it. I, yeah, yeah. Dogs and sweaters or Shrek? <sighs> Shrek. Um, no. I'm going to say that first sip of, I'm just going to say coffee. I'm going with I, dogs I don't, I don't and sweaters. I have iced coffee in the morning. I'm going with dogs and sweaters, but I'm really going for just, just dogs in anything. Like, boy. Oh, God, remember that dog we saw at the pool? Well, first of all, dog... Like dog talk, dog TikTok. Was something wrong with the dog at the pool, or was no, it okay? A cute dog so there the was a giant standard poodle, like a like a giant black poodle that was as big as a person, and he was so at the fluffy. pool, and he was sitting there like he was a human, and then sitting he was, on a out on a lounge chair, and then he was cuddling with his owner, and they were just sitting there. I, I wanted to go cuddle. I wanted to be their unicorn. I was like, can I be the unicorn in this man and dog mm-hmm. relationship? <laughs> the dog was laying out like this, and the, the guy was taking the dog's leg. Oh, it was so this. cute, man. Hey, I love uh, some dogs. We got to remind you, today is the last day to get uh, Rhett and Link sing Brooks and Dunn in the year 3000 vinyl. Okay? Today is the last day to get that. We got a special treat for you. You get 15% off the third degree quarterly or annual plan of Mythical Society pl- plans. 15% off third degree quarterly or annual, today only. Whoa, today only? So you can slip in, get that album, and 15% Whoa, off. You can accomplish Go a to lot mythicalsociety.com. Today. We will make you happy. You un, un, com, incomparable, uncomparable access that. to mythical content over at mythicalsociety.com and that record. Guys. Do we I have our results? I have weird news. You both got the same thing, so it's a really great quiz <laughs> that we've made. Encourage everyone to take it. Uh, <laughs> you're both raisin cream pie. We answered. We only answered one of the same question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was very celebratory, Chase. I mean, uh, Giant Deborah. Giant Deborah was not summoned. This is the Chase. this is the first time ever Giant Deborah has hung around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Want to chill? I went, I brought my stuff with me, so I changed into my summer wardrobe stuff, came back. You guys are still doing stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Also, just throwing my two cents in the ring. I was never a unicorn, but uh, I did the zebra thing for a minute. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm so sorry you got this result. Dang, you were kind of the worst. Am I right? Oh, sure. Part of you tastes fine on celery but that same part doesn't belong anywhere near sugary treats. You are, watch out. Sorry. You're definitely one of those outdoorsy people who harvest their own food and claim to have a special bond with Mother Earth. You live by the phrase, leave it better than you found it, which is ironic because you legit ruin everything you touch. (laughs) Wow. Take 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 the quiz. Take the quiz. Take the survey. Today is the last day to join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual to get the vinyl record. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.